in this video we're going to find x such that cosine x is approximately equal to x. And we're going to use Newton's method. So what is Newton's method? So that would be xn plus 1 equals xn minus y of xn over y prime of xn. And the function y is any function when it's set equal to 0, we can call that y, and that will be the root that we want to solve for. And we want to find approximate x. So x, in reality, is the limit as n goes to infinity of xn. So you can pick the n to be as large as you want or as small as you want, but the larger numbers get are better approximations. Okay, so what is y? So we want cosine x to be equal to x. That's what we want to approximate. So cosine x minus x equals 0. So now we're going to call this function y. So this is, so this is when it's equal to 0. Taking the derivative of y, you get negative sine x minus 1. Okay. So now let's plug all this stuff into this first formula that we have. So that would be x the n plus 1 equals xn minus y of xn will be this function. So this will be cosine of xn minus xn all over y prime of xn. So we plug in xn to this function. So this will be minus sine of xn minus 1. Of course, we can factor out the negative on the denominator, leaving us with negative parentheses sine of xn plus 1. And the negative and the negative will cancel, leaving us with positive. Okay. So now, let's say x0, the approximation will be 1. So x1 will be 1 plus cosine 1 minus 1 over sine 1 plus 1. Get a common denominator, sine 1 plus 1 plus cosine 1 minus 1 over sine 1 plus 1. So sine 1 plus 1 over sine 1 plus 1 is obviously 1. That's where the 1 comes from. 1 minus 1 is 0. So, this, so x1 will be sine of 1 plus cosine 1 over sine 1 plus 1. Okay, so those angles are in radians, by the way. So if you want to plug this in. x2 will be sine 1 plus cosine 1 over sine 1 plus 1. And now we plug this into the, the following formula above here. So this will be cosine of xn, which x, the previous xn, so that would be sine 1 plus cosine, let me make more space. So this will be cosine of sine 1 plus cosine 1 over sine 1 plus 1. Now we have minus xn, which is minus sine 1 plus cosine 1, okay, all over sine 1 plus 1, okay. And now all leaving us with all over sine of xn, so that would be sine 1 plus cosine 1 all over sine 1 plus 1, and then finally we have plus 1. Okay, so I know this is not simplified, but you can plug this number into Wolfram Alpha to see what number you get, and then when you plug in cosine of this same number, you should get the same, you should get an approximate value that is the same. And this is the end of the video. Hope you liked it.